Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hey, just in case you join me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. I was once the problem. Now I'm seeking to be part of the solution, man. I was a lost, sick knucklehead. I was a lost soul. I wasted 15 years out of my life that I cannot get back, man, because I want to be down. I want to be cool. And you know what? It sad me when I read story like this, man, like, you know, Remy Ma's son, you know, her son, 23 years old got charged with murder him and another guy and when you sit back and you look at the circumstance and the situation or whatever and it doesn't matter man it doesn't matter what's going on in life who your parent are how much money they making see here it is we want our own so being that you want your own you're gonna go out there and you're gonna pick up that break and you're gonna throw it that prison wall for what absolutely nothing now the money that she about to spend for a lawyer and everything else, a private investigator to try to get her son off the hook. Guess what? Here it is. She could have took that same money and invested into some type of small business form that can help him get on the right track. But now nah, we don't want to wait. We don't have patience. We want it now. Listen, man, only thing come fast is trouble. Easy to get into hard to get out. So I want y'all to listen to this clip and I'll be back. Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a murder in Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a murder for hire. Right, Fox 5's Teresa Priolo joins us live from a story where the victim lived. Teresa, what can you tell us? Yeah, Steve and Natasha, residents I spoke to here, they didn't know the victim, but they do know who Remy Ma is, and they're telling us that they hope her celebrity doesn't play into this case. Tonight, we are learning that that victim was allegedly killed by Remy Ma's son, Jason Jace Scott. So here's what we know at this hour. 23-year-old Scott was arrested today on first-degree murder and weapons charges. It's unclear if he pulled the trigger or if he hired the hit that took the life of Darius Gilbo, who lived here at the Ravenswood houses in Astoria. The crime occurred nearby in broad daylight back in 2021. Gilbo took hits to the head and to the chest. Gilbo had an extensive criminal history. Eight months before he was killed, he was indicted in a massive drug trafficking operation. As for Jay Scott, he appeared alongside his mom, Rebby Ma, in the hit show Love and Hip Hop. She's one of the biggest names in hip hop and has been since 2006. She also has something of a lengthy rap sheet and has done six years in prison on a gun crime. But none of that mattered to the folks that we talked talk to here in Astoria. It doesn't matter if it's a celebrity or not. Exactly. If you commit a crime, you're supposed to be paid for the crime you committed. It could be anybody. It doesn't matter. You know, if they're, you know, their mother's famous or father's, it doesn't matter. We got the police station on the corner. We got sanitation. So and they're not around. too many things happening here. They happen around here, but not in here. Yeah, it's yeah, really different. We received a statement from Remy Ma's attorney about Jay Scott. Uh, that, that came in late this afternoon. They said that, that Remy Ma hoped to publicly address this. She's been advised not to, so they told us, quote, nevertheless, Remy Ma is committed to pro uh, proving Jason's innocence and supporting her child during this time. We stand by Jason's innocence and hope the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. Now, back out here live, we should also tell you that a second man, a man by the name of Richard Swigert, was also arrested and charged with murder and weapons charges. Steve and Natasha, it's unclear what led to this, if there was any relationship between these guys before this murder happened. We can tell you that we are expecting Scott to be arraigned early next week. That's the latest from Astoria tonight. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Okay, I just listened to that clip. But here go, Queens, Fox 5, New York. Lisa Evers has learned from law enforcement source that the son of rapper Remy Ma has been charged with first-degree murder. Remy Ma, whose real name is Renice Smith, is a platinum-selling artist and Grammy nominee. According to source, Smith's son, Jason Scott, 23, and another man have been charged with first-degree murder. The pair have also allegedly been charged with two counts of weapon possession and reckless endangerment. The charge are reportedly in connection with a June 7, 2021 murder of 47-year-old Darius Glanabue in Queens. Investigators are looking into the possibility 
that it was a murder for hire. An arrangement is expected to take place Wednesday inside a Queens County courthouse. Jason, also known as Jay Smith, appeared in several episodes of Love and Hip Hop New York with his mother, Don M. Floria. An attorney representing Remar released a statement after the charge was announced. As many have heard, Remy Ma's son, Jason Scott, was recently arrested and every series unfounded allegation have been made. Remy Ma wished to address the situation personally, but has been strongly advised by our office not to say anything publicly, as most people in this situation are, as the case is still active. Nevertheless, Remy Ma is committed to providing, proving Jason innocent. And supporting her child during this time. We stand by Jason Innocent and hope the New York Police Department will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This has undoubtedly been a trying time for Remy Ma and her family. While she sincerely appreciates the love and support she has received, we kindly ask that her privacy be respected as our legal team work to prove Jason Innocent. And you know what, folks, listen, what is a mom to do? What is a mom? What is a father? What is a grandparent? We well, you know what is they to do? A wife, a husband, what is they to do? To stand by their family member. You know what? Whether they innocent, whether they guilty, they, it doesn't matter. You're going to stand by them. But once again, here it is. This was three years ago. Three years ago. So you sit back and you look at it and you ask yourself the quality question. What would a 20-year-old have in common with a 47-year-old man? The man that supposed to have been the victim was alleged kingpin. So once again, what type of ties can they have with that grown man? I'm confused. What I'm saying is, did they work for that man? Or once again, they say it's a murder for hire. So how much money was paid to get this guy out of there? Was it worth it? Was it 5000 was it 10000 Was it 20000 Was it 30000 I don't know. But at the end of the damn day, guess what? These guys is facing, what, 25 to life? Was it worth it? No, folks. There's no shortcut in life, and crime doesn't pay. And to me, regards to what kids, y'all young folks out there, man, get a job, man. Hustle legally. Get a full-time job. Then get a part-time job. Get as much job as you can to make a legal hustle because now these guys going to rot. They're going to rot. If they get convicted, they're going to rot behind the walls. Whether it's the state or whether the federal case, they're going to rot. And you know what they're going to be doing? They're going to be kicking themselves in the ASS wishing they would have done it right the first time. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. If I can change, anybody can change. Could change come from within? One love.